Well, this is my bed. What a night. I'm laying in bed at 2.30. We got an electric storm going on. Pretty bad electric storm. And I get woken up. Unbelievable noise. <laughs> yeah. Plus the lightning. This is looking out our... There was a power line down there. You can see that white pole with the bird feeder on it well going down over the hill there's a cherry tree down there uh see that cherry tree down there right below that's the power line there was a fireball down there that was unbelievable and it kept on going and it was pouring down the rain it was lightning all over the place making this awful noises and then it went out and a few seconds later, it came back. And then it went out. And there was a fire down there. Thank goodness it was raining. You can't see the power line, but I'll take you that and show you on the other end. Where you can see it here in a little bit. But, and then it went out. For the third time it went. Here's what happened. A tree fell down on the line. On top, of, on top there's a 12, or 25,000 volts. The lines are on top, and then underneath that's a 12,000. So everything came down. Goodness, what a horrible experience that was. Anyway, <sighs> of course, all, and I, I don't know what it destroyed in our house. We've had that happen before where the 25 came down on a 12, and bad things happen. Had too many splits blow up. Uh, my water heater blew up among a blew the breaker off. I don't know. It hasn't blown the break the uh, surge protector. I have two different separate surge protectors. It hasn't blown that off the wall off the wall like it did the last time this time. So we'll see. And here it is. It's 1:30 the next day, and uh, still no power company. They have a lot of other outages also. This uh, 25,000 line also affects a natural gas compressor that's about five, six miles from here. Okay, we'll be back with more. Well, I got a generator out front, and it started after three pulls, after sitting for several years. So we got power in here. I've got power in my office over here. At least to power the computer, I have we have zero communications. Uh, it took down the the uh, phone line also. So at least we got the refrigerator here going. Got some lights. Got a fan. It's going to get to 90 degrees in here. And fortunately, being this is a log home, those logs hold that cool for quite some time. So it's pretty nice in here with that air moving. And then we've got another uh, generator out here going because uh, I've got a freezer that's full of deer meat and other stuff and also a refrigerator downstairs that's uh, got the freezer full of deer meat. So we got to keep that stuff going. Who knows how long this is going to be that we're going to be out without power. Who knows? We don't have any water. Can't run the well pump off of this. There's uh... <laughs> Well, there's some of the mess. That's the pole where our power comes and it comes in right down at the bottom of that pole. You can see the the black box that's the wind stream communications that's why we don't have any internet up there okay and right down in there was all that going on we'll take a ride down here and see the other pole Hold on. We'll be right back. Okay. 
There's the tree that fell on the lines. It's going down that way. Uh, not only the that cross arm up or on top of that pole shot <sighs> they're going to have to climb that pole with hooks can't get him buck a truck up here there you have it it's after five here and nobody showed up I don't even know if they sent somebody out to look at it yet Okay. Huh. Hoping they come tomorrow. I can get some footage of them climbing that pole. Hoping. We'll see what happens. I decided to take tomorrow off. Tomorrow's Saturday, my regular scheduled day. But I got to keep these generators filled up. Hopefully they'll come tomorrow. They got a mess to deal with. Where those cones are is my leech field. I told him not to drive in there. They're cutting the tree right now. What a mess. Hey, <laughs> yeah. How long have uh, you been out of power? Since 2.30 Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Yeah. Wow. That's what wow. the wow. You wouldn't believe the light show that was down here when that 25 came down and hit the ground. Yeah, it was a big spark. Oh, spark and fireball. Wow. It was really? as big as my truck. Wow. I bet you heard it too. Oh, yeah. Woke, woke you up pretty good. Well, he got it off. He had to wait for the, the uh, power company, and we got contractors. We don't have West Penn. Well, there's a couple West Penn guys here, but they got contractors to fix this. The 12,000 still down. The 25,000 wire came up, but it's off the cross arm on the next pole, so they'll have to put that. Looks like they'll have to put a new cross arm up here. That's the arm that goes across the top of the pole. And the windstream cable that we get our internet and phone off of is still intact, although it's hanging down and it's off the pole on the next pole. And hopefully these guys will hang that back up because uh, <laughs> hopefully. And hopefully we'll have internet tonight. Hopefully we'll have power here this afternoon. Okay. Well, we got a crew out. They had to wait for the tree trimmers. Is why they were. It's, I don't mind telling you, I'm pretty tired. This has been very stressful. It's really great to see all these guys out here trying. And these guys are from Philadelphia, PA. We're an hour south of Pittsburgh, so they had quite a drive to get here, and they've been pretty busy since they got here. you got to have some courage.
and the lines are dead in case anybody's wondering and they have a couple people on the ground to help them out Incredible. Can't get their the bucket trucks down there. That hill is too steep. It's probably at least a 12 to 13 percent slope, if not more. Plus, we had all that rain. And these aren't four-wheel drive trucks. 